Hey guys, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. Today's devotion is titled Summer Thunderstorms. How appropriate. We just had another big one last night. I swear it felt like a bomb was exploding on our house. It was really rumbling. Anyway, the verse is Psalm 91, 1 and 2. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in whom I trust. <clears throat> Hiking in the summertime brings so much joy. Going outdoors, breathing fresh air, leaving stale or chaotic surroundings behind. In the mountains, we breathe deeply and let our eyes roam over beautiful countryside and distant vistas. We pass among trees and wildflowers. We catch glimpses of birds, deer, and other wildlife. Maybe we follow the course of a stream or the shore of a high mountain lake. Sometimes as the path climbs higher, that wide open atmosphere changes unexpectedly. Clouds darken the day. The wind that has been sighing softly among the trees picks up speed, thrashing through the branches. At this point, a wise and, un and experienced hiker, or a cautious one, heads for shelter, perhaps back to the car or the cabin. A storm is coming with rain and the danger of lightning. Wild weather can be exhilarating, but less experienced hikers are fortunate if they have someone to warn them and guide them to safety. Sometimes this happens in everyday life too. We're on a path that seems so pleasant to us. We're breathing deeply, enjoying our surroundings, our activities, our companions. They may offer beauty or excitement, solace or belonging, and then spiritual unease clouds our way. The Holy Spirit tugs at us, signaling our spirit that all is not well, that we are in danger. What started out so enjoyably has become a walk that may harm or that may harm us spiritually. When this happens, we need to ask ourselves, is there another route open to us leading to a place of refuge? When the storm clouds gather, we are wise to seek shelter. Thank you, Lord, that you watch over me, that you see the path before me and know what lies ahead. Help me to be aware of your guidance and quick to follow your lead. Amen. It's a picture of it again. That reminds me of the verse, you know, that says, where can I run to in times of trouble? Where can I go but to the Lord? People don't always have the answer. People don't oftentimes know what they're talking about. A lot of it is driven by fear. A lot of it is driven by concern and worries. Um, over my years, I've learned to just sit back, shut my mouth, and take it to the Lord. And trust him because there's only so much we can do to control or handle our situations it's windy again guys <laughs> um but like we were military you know and we moved every one two three years at a time we have like 20 moves under our belt look at that pretty bluebird right there flying it's so pretty but um the more I tried to control the situation and worried about where we were going to live in our next stop, sometimes out of the country, sometimes across the U.S., it was so much easier just saying, Lord, praying before we went and just saying, put a place there for us to go. Now, mind you, it's not always going to be all roses, right? But... He made that transition smooth and, you know, 
we never had any major, major troubles. So that's my advice. Do what you can do. Give the rest to God. And don't worry. Worry eats at your health, your soul, your mind. Whatever will be, will be. And we can do what we can. And that's it. So guys, um, you know, last week I did the entry for the giveaway. Surprisingly, you know, it was uh, on the down low. Because I appreciate you guys for watching this part. And I only had four entries. So I wrote down the names on a sheet of paper and um, brought a dice out. I know it's backwards. However, number one was Kathleen Elliott. Number two was Chef Dalian and friends. Number three was Pete's Little Homestead. I think I got that name right. And number four is Striving for the Simple Life with Tina. Okay, so I'm going to take you guys. Let's see if I could do this on the book. So one, two, three, and four. All right, here's the dice, right? It's got four. One, two, three. Just make sure you know. Hopefully this doesn't fly off. <laughs> Or we'll have a redo. Okay, shaky, shaky, shake. Best wishes, everyone. Three. Pete. Peace, little homestead. Congratulations. And I have that tractor supply gift card that I was sent. I'll just need your uh, address. I'll message you on the Facebook, uh, your page that you have for your gardening channel on Facebook. And you can send me your address or I can probably just message you the number through Messenger if that would be easiest. So I'm sorry no one else won, but congratulations. Have a great day.